guys, Ramblin' Bob here again. I just had to, I just literally had to do another update with these Harbor Freight panels. These are absolutely the best power producing panels I have ever seen anywhere so far. Okay, guys, we're bringing in almost six, uh, if you remember the other video, this is like a part two of that. I just had to do this. I just had to, to get this information out. Uh, so we're bringing in almost 900 watts on that 1600 watt array like in the last video, right? It's the four REC 400 watt panels, right? And we're bringing in just under 900 watts. I want you to see what those six Harbor Freight panels are bringing in on this system. Now this can go all the way up to 700 watts input, remember? Okay, so let me plug it in here, guys. Um, and notice there, there's no other power going in. Actually, I do have power. I, I got to correct myself here. I do have 314 watts going in through one of the batteries uh, of this system. But remember, it does not show up on the power meter. This meter will go up. But this one, as you can see, it's, it's, it uh, does not understand the power going into the batteries. Yet it understands the percentage of the power, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to plug these bad boys in here, guys. I had to make this video because I looked over and I'm like, holy crap, Zilla, look at the numbers. This will shock you. Watch this, guys. Remember, 600 watts of panels. Three and three in series, series, and in parallel, okay? All right, now, and then I'll tell you some more information. Because we're getting lots of questions about these panels. Lots of questions. And I want to help as many people as I can because I believe that these are absolutely... Uh, pound for pound if you will watt for watt the best panels I have seen ever so far so we'll let that just start here it takes a second for the MPPT controller to talk to the batteries and do whatever it's got to do here it's got to have a conversation here there you go um, now let's see watch this watch this number guys here I'll, I'll put it all the way up here okay make sure it stays on okay so we're 240 300 now remember that's only 600 watts of panels. I cannot stress that enough. I just, uh, when I saw the numbers today on the machine, when I looked over, I was working, I looked over and I'm like, holy crap, Zill, look at the numbers. Okay, here, see this? Look at that guys. It won't stop, watch this. And I promise you, this is only 600 watts of Harbor Freight panels. We are up to 621 now, 620, but 619. Watch how stable that is, guys. I saw this today. When I looked over, I couldn't believe my eyes. This said 660 flipping watts. I think it was 660 or 661. And I'm like, you got to be kidding. I got to I gotta put this on film. I have to. I have to record this. So as you can see that we have 600 watts of panels coming in at 616 watts continuously. This isn't just a spike video like the other one where it went up and then dropped. This is constant, constant inflow of that much power. So holy crapzilla, guys, look at that. I mean, even, even it's getting a little lower, but it's still 611. But now we're gonna let this video go a little bit longer just so you can see that that will maintain 600 plus. I have not checked a panel other than the XTAR 100 watt panel, which is a very expensive old panel. Um, get more than a hundred watt output on any panel that we own and we have a, a bunch we have Bluetti panels we have Pecron panels uh, matter of fact we did have over volt or not over overpower on the two Pecron ones I believe for a very short time but now they they've kind of balanced out these panels are a flipping year old and they've been sitting up there in the dirt the dust the snow the sleep the hail everything for a year i haven't cleaned them not once other than i took a like a, a big brush broom and i got the snow off it that's it guys i did not maintain these panels well at all which you should but who who the heck wants to climb up on a structure in the middle of the winter count me out right you fall and bust your head open so here now the sun's going down a little bit as you can watch this one you know they'll go in the same time hopefully i got them both on video here okay good so but look at the output power guys that is just to, that's mind-blowing as far as solar panels. Now, I, either um, I don't know completely everything about solar panels, which is possible, but I guarantee that this box from Harbor Freight, these panels, when I open the box, it says on the back, uh, matter of fact, we had tons of questions about this, subscribers. So they, they said, well, how, how, do I, uh, how do you get those numbers? Because it's not possible according to the specs on the box. Very, very simple answer, guys. The specs are wrong. They misprinted either on the box or they changed it for some reason. If you look at the old video that I, I posted in a, in a comment, it's uh, about more than a year ago. And this is the reason I bought the panels in the first place. I thought, well, they're cheap, they're local. I could run over and try one. If I don't like it, I go take it back. So I look at 600, solid, solid all day. So um, what happens is on the back of the panel, it says, 
uh, 18 volts up to 6.2 amps or something like that now that's the new box if you go and find the old box which we still have we have the old boxes guys remember because we bought them a year ago and the old boxes said 24 volt dc output i don't know why they changed it or uh whatever but we win in this situation because if, if you know about this little secret if you will uh, about this misprint or whatever i think it is a very very as you can see very very powerful panel for the bucks i've seen some 100 watt panels that are less right than 100 bucks but you know what i'm only getting and seeing 60 to 80 percent output sometimes 85 but i have no no uh, 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 uh recollection of seeing a high output of uh, other uh, brands and uh, i i believe me i've looked i did research on on 100 watt panels probably oh my gosh probably about 20 different companies possibly uh, maybe or 15 to 20 companies I, I can't remember i made a video back then and i was uh, you see the solars it's uh it's dying here so we'll wait till the sun and the clouds to come back out or get out of the way um but you'll see it in real time here guys see it's going back up again um but i i made a video and and I, I researched as many as i could because like you i'm trying to save a couple bucks here and there when i can this stuff is not cheap man and it'll empty out a wallet quick and you almost got to get like two or three jobs just to support your hobbit now your your hobbit and your habit it's i put them together it's a hobbit so uh unbelievable unbelievable so if, if i pay a hundred bucks for a, a hundred watt panel and it only produces 75 um you know 75 or 80 watts guys that's not a buck a watt right that's more than a buck a watt because i'm not getting 100 watts out right so oh here it's going up again so uh basically if if, if like these panels when we first bought our first panel I, I i hooked it up to a multimeter very simple to do guys you just hook it to a multimeter and show you the voltage that's coming out and it, it spiked all the way up to like 24 volts and i thought well what the heck man this is a good panel i i can't believe more people don't know about it and um see it's going up again and um it, it so i i thought well what the heck i'll hook it up to a power station and, and i'll and i'll watch the meter and i'll see what's really coming in now remember these are converted watts guys these are converted right this is a 48 volt system but these are converted look at look at the guys 560 it's going up again so uh that means that the true watts coming in is actually higher than that can you believe that holy crapzilla and if you want to test that hold on let's test it on on, on film here let me get a, a meter i got to run over there for a second here you got to hold on a second guys okay give me a second Okay, sorry about that guys I, I didn't think i was going to do this so last minute here I, I grabbed one of these here look at 600 watts again guys holy crap so okay so i'm going to pop these now remember when you do this be careful when you when you uh, uh unplug stuff you know on the fly like this so just kind of be, be aware it's not the safest thing to do okay so we're going to plug hopefully you can see this here let me move this over here okay so we're going to put the source in here this this is coming from the six harbor freight panels okay no trickery guys no trickery i've done a lot of videos on these and notice remember uh this it says that the panels are coming in at at uh, 18 18 volts well as you see i have the three and three right and then those uh three and three are in parallel but look what they're coming in at guys 61 and a half volts that was up to 63 volts a second ago that's true voltage is open circuit voltage so you'll see that when the sun comes out we're watching this for a minute when the sun comes out that's way higher than the 18 that it says on the box right because it says 18 times 6 is not uh, oh i'm sorry 18 times 3 is definitely not 60 plus volts right it would be less it would be like 56 volts or something like that so uh okay so we're at 60 of almost 61 volts now what we're going to do is we're going to plug these in here we got to wait for the sun to come back look at the sun died so we're watching in real time guys here all right let me plug this bad boy in oh boy okay so let me grab another one something's wrong with this port here uh, i don't know if i got something stuck in there or something so maybe something got stuck in there i just to toss them in a box and let me grab another one i got tons of these okay give me a second here okay guys always have a backup plan seriously okay and then if you don't have a backup plan you have a two backup plans okay so let's go in source again let's do this one okay now remember this is 60 volts guys so if this were to actually touch your skin it could go right to your heart so be careful hot swapping stuff like this guys i should have gloves on or something but uh, i was so goofy and excited to make this video i wanted to show you okay all right uh, safety 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 all right don't do what i do 
Okay, l learn from my mistakes and, and, and my uh, <laughs> adventures. Okay, so we're gonna let this go in real time. Now notice it says 60.7. Now when that voltage drops, that'll obviously uh, be putting power in and then you'll see the power here. So let me see if I can put this somewhere. Hopefully you can still see that. Uh, well, you can definitely see this one. And now hopefully you can see this one here. I'll try to put it a little closer. Okay, so we have, uh, as it's going up here now, this is true watts coming in and this is converted watts. There's a difference. This is the actual wattage coming in on the system. And then this is the actual watch ap after it converts to the voltage that it needs to go into the system. So notice that's 152 right now. And uh, the other one, I got to back this up here so you see it. This is at 253. Now remember that can go all the way up to 1100 watts. So we have to wait for the sun to come back in real time so you can see this. But right now, the true watts is 161 and the converted watts is 153. So that means that when this spiked to 660, guys, this went up probably over 700 watts on six panels. That's crazy awesome. Man, that's crazy. These are good panels, guys. I can't stress that enough. So here we got 173 and 166. We're watching it in real time again. Like I said, when you see this one go up, then you know that the sun is coming out or when this one goes up, obviously. So hopefully, let's hope my timing is good here and the uh, uh, the, the sun is, uh, or the clouds are getting the heck out of the way so Ram with Bob can make a video here and help a lot of people. So let's just wait here. So we're almost up to 180 here. It's going up very, very slowly. That means that a cloud is probably just drifting over, you know. The clouds, guys, boy, you cannot fight the clouds or weather. You know, if, if you fight weather, you will lose. I promise you that. But uh, you just got to wait in real time here, guys. We just got to sit and stare at a screen like this for hours. And I'll ramble on just to, so we don't have any awkward silence here. Just as you can see, it's creeping up very slowly. So hopefully that, that cloud will either get out of the way. But, uh, man, I had to make this video. When I looked over and I saw 660 or 661 watts on, on, the, on the screen, I'm thinking, no, that can't be possible. It's possible, guys. It's possible and it happens in real time and you can watch it crazy okay so here we're 300 so we're getting there slowly i wish i had a, i should set up a camera so i can see it in live time and that way i know you know am i waiting in, in kind of sitting here in vain waiting for the clouds to never move or are they going to move out of the way is it one cloud is it a whole you know uh, weather storm like yesterday the weather came in and all of a sudden it dumped about an inch of snow everywhere and i'm like what the heck that was out of, out of nowhere and that's where i got this cough from <laughs> stupid weather that changes man that affects your body Okay, so here we're up to 211 on real input and uh, 203 on the actual converted input. So this is, see, it's slowly, slowly climbing up, which means that, that clouds are slowly getting out of the way here. Well, I wish that, guys, if we could have solid sun 24 hours a day, man, I would just be happy. Uh, if we could get some moon panels or something, you know, something that works at night, that would be awesome. Hopefully in the future, they'll make these super sensitive panels that can actually work at night. And I think that would benefit a lot of people, a lot of people, guys. Because, you know, not every place gets perfect sun, of course. And depending on where you live, uh, you know, some places uh, get really crappy sun. So, like, you know, if you live in Alaska, I never knew this uh, until I was an older kid. Uh, you know, like Alaska can be dark for like six months. Like, what the heck is that about? <laughs> you know, and then it can be bright for six months. So try sleep during that. You know, that's got to be a very uh, different, uh, uh, I don't know what even to call it, environment to get used to. That's crazy. All right, so here it's going up a little bit. So let's see. I like to see it spike, and that way then you know that the clouds are getting the heck out of the way. Here we're going up, though. Here, 460. Okay, we're starting to climb. So hopefully the, the, the clouds are getting the heck out of the way so we can do something over here. Oh. Oh, I just talked and then it went down. So, all right, we got to wait again. I wish I had this on here in the beginning of the video and then you guys could have saw the difference in what I meant. See, it's actually coming in at about 55, uh, well, now 54 because it's dropping. It was coming in at 55 volts and that's the actual charging. That's the working voltage. There's an open circuit voltage and a working voltage. Then it's two different numbers. So if you do your math on paper, see if you take 52.7 or actually it's 50, yeah, about 53 now. Uh, and then times it by 4.6 amps, you come up with these watts. That's how these meters work. So they're very, very simplistic, but these are really cool. This meter over here, I, I don't trust that because I think it's off. I, I don't think it's a very good collection. These are very cheapy meters, but they're, they're, they're pretty accurate as far as the power because the power is very simple to measure. You could take one of those voltimeters and you just clamp it on there or you put one in line and you can see that they're very close. So... Uh, other than the the logging part of these I, I don't trust them at all i i don't think they're they're very uh good so let's see here um three what was it 360 over there come on guys solar gods let me get a good video here 
Boy, you know, it, in, the funny thing is, guys, when I first started this video, once again, like yesterday, it was perfect, right? It was perfect. It was, you saw it. It was over 600 and solid. It was solid. It's over 600. And it was just like, uh, okay, and now we're going to crush Rambly Bob's video. <laughs> so, oh, here, we're going up again here. All right, so we're at 460. So, uh, remember, this can get up to about 1,100 watts input. Uh, the most I've seen is about, I think, 1070 or something like that. And that's because of the limit on amps. Otherwise, it could go higher than that if I put these in series. But I got those trees next door that do all this and get all up in your business when you're trying to get your son. So, hopefully, I can talk them into cutting them down this year. But who knows? Okay, here, ooh, 500. So, I'm seeing it spike a little bit here. That means this one's going up. Yep, so 600, 315. I noticed that this is a 364, and that's at 340. So, it's actually higher than what it says. Remember, the converted watts to the to the true watts, I call them. All right, so let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope it goes up here. 700, so we're getting there. All right, the, the sun gods are smiling here. So, look at 562 watts, 570, 580, 500, 605, 613. All right, here we go, guys. All right, don't blink. 641, 648, 655, 661, 667, 666. Oh, bad luck. So, so guys, this is 678 watts right there. And this is, look at 646. Holy crap, Zilla, guys. I live or die by these panels so far. I wish the quality and the rating was better. And then you can permanently install them. So, look at, we're solid here, guys. At 600 and almost 40 watts coming in. And it's 600 and, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? 668. Nine point something, 667. Remember, that's true watts coming in at 50 volts. Holy crap, Zilla, guys. These panels are monsters. I think if I was to do it again, other than the look and the connections of the Harbor Freight panels and that you have to put them all together in series or, I see there's a thousand. Um, then you, you know, you, you, it would just be plug and play, but you have to mod them. You know, I don't like those SE, I think the SAE, or SEA or something like that, the connections, and they're basically like this, like the Anderson power pole, you click them together, but they're not waterproof, guys, so don't leave them outside, you'll have problems with them, you know, that's uh, old technology, any Harbor Freight, I mean, but look, at, we're over 600 solid, I'm glad I waited long enough, and that's bringing in a 1,000 here, and uh, now remember, this is a 48-volt system, and this is a 24, so I would not get that much power coming in on a 24 because of the voltage down step that has to go to a 24 volt system you lose more in, in conversion but since this is a higher volt battery pack it, it's it's better so if this was a, let's see it says 49.17 guys that's almost what this battery pack is rated at right 48 volts so that's why you get such a a, a small loss of power in the conversion see it says five was it 533 and it says 508 here so uh, that's uh, you know, you don't lose that much you always lose something because you have to convert it from you know This to that, you know, it's got to go through all the wires and the cables and all that fancy stuff But oh look at it dying again. Oh this stupid Sun mm. <laughs> Damn you Sun gods, okay well, we have to we have to wait again. Maybe I'll wait one more time and we'll watch that spike again. But guys, this is really exciting. It becomes a video game in a strange way, where you literally sit here and you just go, "I won! I won!" You guys ever you you remember? This is off topic. While we're waiting, guys, do you remember that National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation? That's one of my favorite movies ever. At the end of the movie, you remember that guy? He's playing like. Uh, uh, I think it was Kino or something like that in the casino and uh, he's like I won I won I won the money You know that guy that's how I feel when these numbers get really like I my, my mind flashes back to that movie And I'm just like I won I won the solar lottery, you know But uh, obviously it doesn't last all the time and this is down to like 200 watts here 1600 watts a panel coming in at 200 watts. So that's horrible. That's an eighth of the power, but uh Man, yeah, every time I, I, I see those numbers spike up, I, I become a little kid again. You know, I get so excited. I'm like, yes, I won. I won the money, you know. I won the solar lottery. But uh, the, the, the uh, excitement in my voice is real, guys. This, is, this has really become a, 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 I don't even want to say hobby. It's more of an addiction now. Like, I literally, every day, I don't think I go one day of the, of the week now, not one day without looking for new products or trying to learn something in this industry or this business. And I think that's what separates these reviews from a lot of reviews is 
I really care about the technology, not to sell these things. I don't care if you buy them or not. That's not up to my, you know, my, my, my plans here. My plan is to create a, uh, a, a community where everyone can help each other enjoy this awesome technology. I wish I would have done this years ago with drones. I have such a love and passion for RC, uh, uh, the whole RC community, whether it's cars or drones or boats or whatever. I love that. It's, it, you know, my, I'm an old kid, I'll leave it at that, but the old habits, they die hard, you know, and uh, this has become, a, a, a 100%, this has become a habit for me, for sure, I mean, there's there's two things I do every day, that's soda pop and solar powered, you know, uh, I don't know, you know, you, you gotta have your hobbies in life, right, it keeps you going, but uh, yeah, this is really exciting, guys, this has completely changed my life as far as how I, how I do things, how I run outdoor events, the safety features, the uh, the portability features, the um, I, yeah I don't have to carry gasoline with me anymore. I don't have to ventilate anything. I mean, wow, it's it's such a huge upgrade from what I had. And I had good generators, guys. I had uh, Honda EU two thousand eyes. Those are damn good generators. Pardon my French. Those are darn good generators. Holy crapzilla! And I've used them for more than ten years. I love them. I think I bought my first one. I think it was like 2008 or something like that, nine. I can't even remember. But I, you know, I've had it a long time. And it, it, every time I pull a cord, it, it, that sucker starts. I get 1,600 rated watts out of there. But guys, I don't have to pull a cord. I push a button, it's done. You know, I, I, I don't smell anything. I, I don't have to worry about the heat so much because this, the hottest I've ever seen these systems, maybe it's like 100 watts. You know how hot a generator muffler gets? It could literally burn down your house or your vehicle. I mean, that's extremely dangerous. Just that in itself. Now, these could obviously short circuit. I get that. But uh, compared to this, compared to a generator, this wins hands down. This technology wins hands down. I mean, other than probably the longevity and the power output, because generators still have more um, power output uh, for a longer time on one gallon of gas than this does on one tank of batteries, if you will. But uh, now that the batteries are becoming modular like this, where you can build these systems, like holy crap, Zilla. See, on, on, on my system, I could go, I could go 600 watts for approximately, oh, I want to say about 10 hours ish, right? On, on my uh, uh, Honda EU 2000i, and um, uh, so that would give me about 6,000 watts, right? 6,000 watts off one gallon of gas at 600 watt output. Now, guys, this is a seven and a half kilowatt system and this is an eight kilowatt system so i literally have more power than what i could produce in that honda without the gas the heat the danger the carbon monoxide the 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 the, uh, the poison effects of all the the uh, stuff in the air the ventilation the safety i could throw this in a closet and as long as the closet stayed cool enough and there was enough ventilation just so the system doesn't overheat of course you know, you could put like a little vent in the closet, a little vent hole or something, like one of those little uh, things that you could do with the, um, oh, what's it called? The, uh, uh, oh my gosh, uh, boy, your brain goes blank sometimes. Uh, you know, the dryer, you know, it's got that little vent that kicks open when it's on. You know, you put a little fan there and then you plug it into here and then it, it circulates the air through that little closet in one side and out the other side. And oh, here we're going back up, guys. All right, all right. I rambled long enough, guys. Here, look at this, we're at 600 watts already. I was, I wasn't even paying attention. Now, the reason that these could be different as far as more and less is it all depends on where the clouds are, of course. These are about, I want to say about 75 or 80 feet on this side of the property, and those are way over there. So depending on, you know, where the sun is or where the cloud is, oh, see, they're both dropping now. But the, obviously, you know, if they were in the same spot, you'd see them go 100% the same. But for the most part, you see them go up and down in the same. But, uh, you know, if a cloud is only... You know, have you ever been in the street? You can see the cloud go across the street. That's obviously what affects the the, uh, the numbers from this one to that one, obviously. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to get one more power spike. If not, I've already proved my point here. These are dang good panels. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. These are damn good panels. Sorry, YouTube. These are damn good panels. Pardon my French. But uh, holy crap, Zilla. I I think it, guys, if we could just get if we could just get Harbor Freight and Thunderbolt. I, I don't know how, but if we could get them off their butts and they could make two, three, four, five, six hundred watt panels, even the same quality, we can use them as temporary panels, right? You don't have to have a permanent install because sometimes their ratings are a little bit uh, low for permanent install and they won't pass inspections because they look for certain ratings, whether it's UL rating or UV and all this fancy stuff, you know, right? You got to have um, a scientist background to understand a lot of those ratings. 
um, like uh, the IP rating, right? You want a good IP rating of I-67 or higher. And, um, you know, that way it's waterproof. You want to have your connections good. Like, they, they have horrible connections. They're, they're SAE or SEA, whatever it's called. Um, not, not horrible, but I don't like them. Uh, if, if, if those bad boys were to, I mean, how much would it cost to put a couple of these on there, right? How much? Maybe a buck? Throw them on at Harbor Freight. You are missing the boat here. And a Thunderbolt, you're missing the boat. You could literally crush the market because your panels, for some reason, are crushing the numbers that I've seen. And I have, I've got four panels right there. I've got three panels right there. I've got two panels over there. I've got four panels on there. I have five panels over there. I have a ton of panels, guys. And the Harbor Freight is literally crushing the competition in the power output and the voltage and everything. However, it's not as good as rating as the other ones, and that's a, a, a big thing to know about. So for, for temporary panel guys, awesome. For a permanent install panels, you gotta you know make sure that your jurisdiction, oh, we're going up again. Uh, you gotta make sure your jurisdiction allows them to pass the specs, you know, otherwise you can't permanently put them on anything. But a portable panel, guys, if you, they have legs for God's sake. You could literally just pull the legs and plop them on the ground and, uh, you know, you, uh, run them that way. And then, you know, daisy chain them uh, in series or you can run them in parallel. Okay, we're starting to go up again. Let's see if we get one more spike. One more spike and I'll call the video an end. Here, we're, look at this. We're already at 600. I'm waiting for this one over here, and this one's already done. 635 watts input, 607 continuously after the conversion, guys. 51 volts input at 12.3 amps. Now, that's another thing that's rated differently on the box, I think. The old panel boxes were rated at, remember, 24 volt DC at 6.2 amps output. The new boxes, they say, 18 volts i believe at six or five amps output i don't know why they changed them guys i really don't i i truly think in in in, in my heart of hearts and in my opinion i believe that those panels are really 125 to 150 uh, watt panels each and i think they underrated them for whatever reason I, I, I don't know, but the proof is in the pudding, guys. We're watching it in real time. This isn't like a, 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 a trickery video. These are the same panels I've had on one string, and you can see it's coming in at that, that 60, right? Here, I pop it off again here. Like I said, try not to do this, guys. You know, uh, If you do it, you can expect bad things to happen sometimes. So, I mean, you, look, look, here, look at this. I, the string is kind of short here, guys. Look at that. That's coming in at almost 60, right here, 64 volts, 64 and a half. Look at the open circuit, 65. Guys, these are supposed to be 18 watt panels. That's 65 volts of open circuit voltage. That's insane. And remember, that's only three panels. You know, so the highest that should have been, technically, is about 50, was that 54 volts? Look at, we crushed it by nine volts, guys. But that's one thing to remember, though, is it, you know, if, if you need a, a system that can only take up to 20, be careful about these because that's higher than, you know, uh, look at that, 66, 65.85. That's almost 66 flipping volts off three pa three panels, guys. That's 22 volts per panel average. That's crazy cool. Man, that's crazy. This just spiked and then it dropped. So once this gets going again, we'll see. But look, it's still over 60. That should be at 54 according to the specs, right? Now, I don't know if I got older panels. I bought two panels originally like a year and a half ago because of that video that I put up online and then i bought another two and i ran them uh series parallel from two and two into parallel and then i i thought well you know what these are damn good panels sorry of youtube these are damn good panels so i'm gonna get another pair and i'm gonna run those in series two now if i can get this system to safely take in up to like uh, say 85 volts that's pushing the limits this says it can take in 95 but remember i had trouble on this one guys when i had the original mppt controllers if i can get this system to take up to that that 80 to 85 86 volts whatever that would max out for four panels i'm buying two more this year and i have just enough room for like maybe four more panels up there but i'll put two more panels up there on a little ledge that we built a little little structure there that's not permanent it's just a a, a mobile thing and uh, I'm going to put two more panels up there, and I'm going to run them in four and four, and then those four in series, or those two 
two packs of four in in parallel like this so series of four series of four into a parallel and man i'm going to start maxing this out at six uh, 700 watts and even on the days where it's not a hundred percent uh sun look at 608 613 is going up again guys um then i can always have better even when it's less sunny and then i can have crazy numbers like it'll max out at at seven but remember this input maxes out at 15 amps so if i took this right here this 50 volts and then times it by another this was at 10 a minute ago so if i take 50 and then times it by five more guys that's 250 watts more that i could shove into the system with those panels man uh, other companies you got to get on the ball yeah, at least research these panels because obviously obviously they're doing something right with these panels man oh man oh man they're doing something right this is almost to a thousand and this is starting to peak again here 550 let's watch it one more time guys i'm excited i'm excited <laughs> sorry but I, like i said i feel like a kid in a candy store with these things man okay so here we got 535 520 even if they stayed at that guys that's a damn good rating you know like once again i'm sorry youtube that is a damn good rating for 600 watts of panels to be bringing in that much uh and then spiking up to what was it like six i got i even forgot now too many numbers in my head it's like 667 or something like that that's insane here a thousand watts that means this one's going up look at that look at that guys all right let's do it one more time let's go 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 630 watts true watts coming in you can see it on there see that 615 of course i i noticed it and it dropped look at that 476 now it's dropping like a rock oh i man you know sometimes you, you guys know that old saying that uh uh um uh, about the the boiling water thing uh something a, a, a water never boils if you stare at it or something like that that's like solar as soon as you go holy crap look at that and it drops like a rock it's like, it never fails all right so it's kind of going up again here here seven oh now it's dropping again ah oh, solar is such a pain in the butt guys but still look at the power even on a cloudy day or a cloudier day i'm still producing easily uh that's almost well, let's see it's going down here that's that's approximately one third of the rated power of the panels when this is 1600 watts and i'm only getting 350. now that cost me over a thousand bucks for those four panels this cost me 600 plus some change for tax these i didn't have to pay tax on because i bought them from a private seller but um you know it saved me a little bit there too but um guys check out these panels even if you want to just temporarily check them out go to harbor freight order one that you know they're local you don't even have to ship it walk over to your harbor freight if you want to have them ship it fine but uh, go over there get one panel and test them and see if these don't help you in your situation maybe it's the, the bees knees and the cats meow and the hidden diamond in the rough like i said for for months now i think these panels are fantastic if you do the two mods be careful put the mc4 on there so you have a higher ip rating of course these are ip67 they're not going anywhere they can literally go underwater don't do that but they could if the rain comes and then uh the junction box on the back is not the best as far as the, the ip rating but remember it's always on the bottom so it's very very tough to get water to go upwards you know gravity doesn't go upwards unless you know uh elon musk figures out something with reversible gravity and black holes and all that fancy stuff but <laughs> so who <coughs> who knows but uh all right guys i guess i'm gonna leave it there i just wanted to make another video unless it spikes again if you go up again i'm gonna sit here all right it's going up again guys we're gonna wait all right 700 here 360 do it do it all right here we go 866 but if it comes like a, a video game guys it's, it's no, i could sit here all day and just do this this is crazy you know you feel like a kid again 557 five, or 547 uh oh and then see it's dropping dropping like a rock but look at this one's still good here 500 on this one that one's going up all right they're going up guys one more time let's do it let's do it harbor freight harbor freight guys i never thought i'd be cheering for harbor freight that's an honest honest opinion um <laughs> not the best quality stuff out there in my opinion but uh oh, now dropping again okay guys well ramble on be safe i'll see you again here at rambling by reviews i hope you enjoyed this one this is a real-time look at 600 watts of harbor freight panels that power output is just insane i'm sorry i'm done I, i'm actually tired i gotta go take a nap all right guys i'll talk to you again see you later bye